All right, guys, this is the uh, Allied Coalition response. We already had the French turn that we went over. What we had happen this go around is uh, we had some Austrians from Vienna split up and moved into Bavaria to attack uh, the French units that were stationed there. They tried to retreat, were unable to, and that battle ended up being lost, resulting in their retreat to baden uh and Bavaria fell to the Austrians. And then the Austrians also moved in from Venice into Milan, uh, which the French troops nearly outnumbered two to one were actually were able to successfully retreat from there so that saved that but again another territory lost uh, allies only had three actions this round so that was two the other one consisted of can we see on camera here no barely a uh, brief naval battle here uh, French ship that was in port Two of them was attacked by two British ships, and I'll be, lo and behold, the French fought them off. Stronger ships sank them both, uh, lost one ship of their own. So that was the turn there. And I'm not sure what happens next event-wise, considering this is uh, the end of the, what is this, 1805, obviously, but... More importantly, this is the May-June turn, so the next up is the July-August turn, and uh, I don't know if there's anything specific that happens during that time or not, I guess we'll find out. Oh, the only other thing is uh, the black blocks I had representing ports, I got sick of them because I kept bumping them and uh, nudging them and trying to figure out exactly where they went, so I put... I actually took a marker, this is heresy, but I actually took a marker of the map and drew in square, uh, hollow squares for the ports all over the map, so that's taken care of there, no, uh, no more worries about bumping them or worrying where they're supposed to be, they're there forever. There's your update, talk to you later.